Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this tutorial on the pilot clients known as FSN Squawk Box and X Squawk Box for the upcoming release of the new Audio for Vatsim voice codec. My name is Kian, who you'll probably recognise from streaming on Twitch.tv and uploading videos to YouTube on a channel known as Aviator Kian. In this tutorial, I shall be taking you through a step by step guide to getting these pilot clients to work with the simulator with the old codec and to get it to work with the new Audio for Vatsim launch. Firstly, to get you started, you need to download your preferred pilot client. In this tutorial, I shall be using Xplane to show you how to connect to the network, so I shall be showing you how to install X Squawk Box. However, most of these steps in this video can be used to install the other clients, or will come with a readme in which you can follow to install your preferred client. First, you need to navigate yourself to the X Squawk Box website. This can be found at http colon four slash four slash xsb dot net four slash download. This link should be in the description. You must download the latest update. Once you have downloaded that, you need to navigate yourself to your Xplane directory. In my case, I have bought Xplane on Steam, therefore, shall go to uh, my C drive, program files. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Xplane. Once you've found your Xplane directory, you must go into your Resources folder and your Plugins folder. This is where you shall drag and drop your X uh, your X Squawk Box folder, which is found in this um, zip folder, which was downloaded from this website earlier. You simply just drag and drop out of the zip folder into your plugins folder. This shall ask me to replace uh, my files, but in your case, you should just have to drag and drop into your plugins folder and it should just be there. Before we get to the setup of Xcorp Box in Xplane, we need to discuss how we will actually be able to connect to Vatsim and be able to use the new voice codec. What you need to do is navigate to this website, which shall be in the description as well. This is https colon four slash four slash audio dot vatsim dot net correction dot net four slash afv website, where you can find a standalone client which allows old clients such as export box to work. Download the client and run the installer. Once the installer has run, uh, the audio for vatsim standalone client should open up and this should be the pop-up you get once this is open uh, please go to your settings page and enter your vatsim cid and your password as you can see here uh, my voice uh, you can see the mic actually being activated here what i would like you to do is uh, then enter your uh, audio um, peripherals uh, so this is my headset microphone and my headset um, output what you need to do is then also adjust the output and the mic volume to make sure that it remains in the screen band as you can see on my screen at the moment it is staying in the blue so I shall up this up a little bit to make sure that this remains in the green band which it does so now and same for the output audio then you need to um, set your push to talk button mine is set to my uh, joystick trigger button on my madcats v1 joystick as you can see you uh, got a checkbox here that allows you to disable realistic atc audio effects however this is highly not recommended as uh, the point of this voice codec is to give a more immersive feel to uh, the network and as you can see at the bottom here, you've got an IP address in here. That should be here um, as standard. You've got a bit of instructions at the bottom here anyway. So if you're just using a single PC, just make sure that this IP address stays in here, which I have set. Or on the other hand, if you're using FS9, FSX or P3D, um, which requires uh, an FSUIPC um connection 
then make sure you uh, have this box checked. This will work for clients such as Swift, Squawkbox and FSIN. However, in this case, we are going to be using X Squawk Box on X Plane, so we shall leave this unchecked and click apply. Now, as you can see, we are in X Plane now. If you go to your toolbar at the top and click plugins and go down to X Squawk Box and then click connect, this pop up shall appear. This allows you to connect to the VATSIM network. If you have used Xquark Box before, then fill in the fields as required before. What you need to do is enter your call sign. In this case, we're just going to log on um, in the Cessna 172 I Fly IRL, and that is Golf Charlie Kilo India Echo. Put your real name in, uh, and you can put the your local airport in as well. You can put your you need to put your server in, so that's uh, in my case UK1, and make sure that this is set to UK1 as well. You need to just keep the port the same, and make sure you put your VATSIM ID and password in as you did before. Then what I'll do, I'll just put the, the model you're doing, so accessible 72, and it's no airline generic livery, and then you click connect. As you can see, uh, we are now on uh, the network, but you'll be wondering how do we actually connect to Audio for Vatsim Hole? How do we get Audio for Vatsim to work with the simulator? So we go back to the standalone client that we were given uh, earlier. Once you've set all the this client up and you put your explain it address in you make you go to and click connect at this present moment in time it is coming up with this pop-up saying couldn't find VATSIM connection please connect to VATSIM first reason for this is because at the time I'm recording this video the audio for VATSIM is beta server is the only one that is going to work with this uh, client so therefore the the server that I should actually be connected to, however, if we go into the plugin section at this present moment in time, should actually uh, be the audio for that VATSIM um, server. But for the sake of purposes of this video, we're just going to keep it simple. So once you're connected to the audio for VATSIM, you're pretty much set to go um, and everything. I must add, however, that although Squawk Box and FSIN do work with Audio for VATSIM, I must point out that these clients will be shortly retired for further upgrades to VATSIM, and we therefore encourage pilots on the network to start easing themselves into using more modern clients such as VPilot or XPilot. Hopefully, you enjoyed this tutorial on the setup of FSIN, Squawk Box, and X Squawk Box. My name has been Kian, and it has been a pleasure delivering this tutorial to you today. Make sure you are to watch the rest of this tutorial series to make sure you have everything all set up ready for the launch of Audio for Vatsim. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.